the Nintendo 3DS. Hey, what's up guys, TechFit here. So you may have recently heard the news that Nintendo has chosen to shut down the Nintendo Network servers for the Wii U and 3DS lines of systems. Yes, that includes the 2DS as well. This is quite unfortunate as it means that you can no longer play many of your beloved games that require their Nintendo servers or their online multiplayer features. So stuff such as the Mario Kart 7 online gaming, your uh, friends feature on the 3DS, Spot Pass no longer works, however Street Pass does still work as that's only an on-system thing. So today, I will be teaching you guys how to bring back most of that functionality right after the intro. So now that we're back, let's go ahead and talk about how this works. So, first off, in order for this to work, you need to have a jailbroken 3DS or Wii U or 2DS system. Yes, it does have to be jailbroken because this utilizes a feature in Luma 3DS. Basically, what we're going to be doing today is installing a uh, software called Nimbus, which basically allows us to connect to the Pretendo network, which is basically a project that's trying to recreate the Nintendo network. Kind of like how ReConnect and Wii Linked worked for the Wii. There is a few caveats though. So currently, Pretendo Network only has about 73% of the online features recreated, so uh, you know, here's a quick list based off of their website of what they have finished so far. They completely have finished the friends menu on the 3DS and Wii U. They have recreated Ironfall Invasion's online features, the Wii U chat, but that's pretty much all that they have fully recreated. Now, after that, what they have partial recreation of is Steel Driver, Sub Wars, Pokémon Tournament, Mario Kart 7, Triforce Heroes, Kid Icarus Uprising, Pikmin 3, Team Kirby Clash Del Deluxe, Pokémon Rumble World, Nex, Splatoon, Mario Maker 3DS, Mario Maker for the Wii U, Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U, Juxtaposition, or Miiverse. So, let's go ahead and get to setting this up. Let's start by booting up our console. So, here we have the actual console itself. First, what we'll need to do is go ahead and make sure that your 3DS is jailbroken. The easiest way to do this is go ahead and shut down your 3DS, and then what you're going to want to do is as soon as it's completely shut off, you're going to want to hold down the select key while you're powering on, and then you should, if you get to Luma 3DS, that means your 3DS is in fact jailbroken, make sure that you are on the latest build of Luma 3DS, you know, it's much safer, and also make sure that you are on update version 11.17. Do not update to 11.17 first, you should upgrade Luma 3DS first before you upgrade. So now, if you are jailbroken, good, go ahead and continue. If you're not, go to 3ds.hacks.guide. They have an extremely in-depth guide on how to do this. Uh, I will probably not be making a video guide because that will become outdated very quickly. So let's move on to the next step. So now. What are we going to want to do is go ahead and click on enable loading external firms and modules and enable game patching. And then go ahead and click on start to save said changes. And your console should just restart itself. What we're going to want to do is go to the homebrew. So Now what we're going to want to do is go to Universal Updater software, go ahead and click on that. This is going to be the easiest way for you to install Nimbus, and then what you're going to want to do is scroll down 
until you get to the one that looks like this. This one with the P on it. You click on that, you can go ahead and install it, which I already have done. And then you can go ahead and close out of Universal Updater. Let's get into setting up the Pretendo network. Wow, this transition sucks. Aha! A magically floating Nintendo 3DS. Not really, but anyways, for this next step, you're going to want to make sure that your wireless connectivity is enabled, so go ahead and flip the switch. Enabled, let it connect. There we go, internet. Let's go ahead and open up Pretendo, or Nimbus technically, and let's go ahead and choose Pretendo. It's going to go ahead and restart your console, give it a few seconds here. Now we'll go ahead and reopen Nimbus. And there we go. Now it says that we have Pretendo Network account loaded. So we can go ahead and select Home, click Close. And now, uh, setting up the Pretendo Network account should be the exact same as setting up a Nintendo Network account. So we go into System Settings, we go into Nintendo Network ID Settings, and this is the part where you need your internet to actually be on because, you know, you need to connect to the internet for your Pretendo Network ID to load. Hi there, kids. Please have a parent or guardian look at this for you, okay? Next. Ooh. Next. Cool. Create a new ID. Do not choose use a pre-existing one unless you've created an ID over the website, which actually I don't even think you can do yet. Oh no, your account activity and balance. I like this cool thing how, you know, the paper scrolls up to the top screen as well. It's pretty cool. Understood. I really have to do this too now, don't I? Yes, I think I speak that language. Do I speak that language? Okay, fine. I accept. Hey, I don't even have to scroll through the entire thing. Oh, yippee. Let me do this real quick. Okay, so now once you set your, uh, you know, your birthday, region, country, whatnot, uh, then go ahead and click on OK. You're going to be setting up your Nintendo Network ID. So, you know, let me do that real quick. Okay, guys, so now that we're back, uh, it basically asks you to set up some personal information about yourself, including your email, birthday, you know, and stuff like that. So next, it's going to ask you if you want to, you know, enable this feature, linking your NNID, or really, PNID, Pretendo Network ID. Confirmation email, okay. Link complete! Next. Next. Nintendo 3DS Shopping Services. Okay, whatever, I don't need this. I'm not a child, I swear. And you're now ready to join Nintendo Network Services. Okay. Close. And now, it's time to test out and see if this actually works. With one of the best online games of all time. The number one best game at ending friendships and... Ending friendships. Can you guess what it is? Leave your comments below. Mario Kart 7. If you didn't, just edit your comment, okay? Nobody will know. Anyways, Mario Kart 7. Let's see if the online services work. Online multiplayer. Connecting to the internet. Worldwide? Race? Yup, choose my me. Yeah, no, it's probably not going to find too many people, especially considering the fact that not many people know about this yet. And it found people. There you go. That proves that Pretendo Network does in fact work. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial and found it useful. Make sure to like, subscribe, and stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!